Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Today, uh, we are going to make a trip back to our house. If you guys don't remember last episode, we were very successful in our trip to find diamonds. We found four more diamonds on top of, I believe, the four that we already have at home. So hopefully we can get into the enchanting side of things today. Uh, at least have the room set up and maybe get ourselves a nice um, sword going because we do have the experience for that. Actually... Yeah, I think we have enough. Oh, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, we'll also get things going in the furnace and things. But um, it looks like nighttime is falling. We don't really have an option to sleep. So we're going to have to make the trip back during the night. Now, hopefully everything goes well. Um, I'm going to keep you guys with me, I think. Because I, I, I maybe we'll run into some, some creepers or some bad guys. And we do have to swim. Oh, wait. How much wood do I have? Only one. See, I only have one piece of wood. So I, I have a crafting table back there, but it wouldn't even be enough. Um, and so I guess we could have we could have grabbed some there, but we'll grab some in the jungle in the jungle uh, biome, and we will go ahead and make ourselves. Well, then that would, I guess, defeat the point of a boat, um, unless we get over here to the jungle and then we make a boat and we, we go around, which is probably what we should do to be the safest. But I kind of want to trek through the jungle. Uh, we haven't really gone through it. We found a jungle temple very early on, if you guys don't remember. Um, but I, I want to see what else is out here. Um, just like maybe if there's any caves closer to our house and things like that. Um, now that I think about it, that's that's more that what I want to do instead of instead of taking the cheap way and going around. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I would grab cocoa beans, but I mean we're this is, this is our jungle. Like this is I think our backyard. So, I, I'm not too worried about not having cocoa beans and not being able to find cocoa beans. Um, but we will fight mobs. Come on, man. I thought he was going to be closer than that. Where's he going? Got him. Okay, um, okay, so there's some zombies. We'll just ignore him, hopefully. <gasps> Is that home? I think it's home. See, I didn't, I didn't think it was too long of a trek, but I figured we'd go through here. It is pretty cool to see, you know, what is what is in our backyard, like this big pit right before we get home. I think we can go around it over here, though. If you saw what I saw, there's a pretty sweet ledge here. See? And then it's not nearly as far down as what over there would have been. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. After this big adventure, this is so worth it. Oh, there's a kitty cat. If you guys don't know about kitty cats, uh, you can't really chase them down. I mean, you can. Obviously, you saw me catch one, basically, there. But um, you can't, like, cat, uh, run up to one and train it and things like that. Um, you actually have to kind of take your time on that kind of thing. But we will definitely get a pet cat, and um, we'll cover that in another episode, like, for sure. Because I, I want to I wanna talk more about, like, how you train them and... and all that good stuff. Uh, they're, they're, they're a lot like dogs, but cats are not like dogs in real life, so obviously they're not exactly the same in Minecraft. Oh, and here we're under our bridge, you see? Oh, that was so quick. Awesome. And we are home. Look at this. Everything's the way we left it, right? No bad guys around here, huh? Sometimes there are bad guys that would spawn back there. This is so cool. Awesome. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to go to sleep, and then we're gonna I'm going to organize everything for you guys, and we'll be back when, uh, when we're moving on to our next thing. Okay, and we are back. Uh, here's the dealio. I can't believe I just used that word. I am, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, I'm going to be honest. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, so basically, we have a ton of iron, and we have a ton of iron going, and you'll see that I'm just leaving it in there. I'm not pulling any of this kind of stuff out. It is because it gives us levels, and we don't need those levels because we're not going to get nearly as many levels as we would if we uh, after we enchant. Because we're working on enchanting, I figured we can wait a little bit to pull all this kind of stuff out. Now, there's one more thing I wanted to show, and uh, that is in the tools chest, we have two bows now on our adventure. We ran across a second bow. So if we go ahead and put these guys together, remember, you get a little bit of extra durability on them. Don't forget about that. That's pretty important. Uh, and I figured we'll just keep stacking them together until we have a nice bow. And then once we have a nice bow, we can enchant it. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'm not really going to take the resources to create, continuously create bows. Um, I don't know. I just I just don't think it's it's worth our time right now. Uh, if 
if you guys can think of a, a reason why it would be super worth it right now, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Now, we are going to go ahead and create our pickaxe, our, our first diamond pickaxe. Now, that's done, obviously, the same crafting recipe as every other tool that we've ever done. Uh, but it's pretty ceremonial because the diamond pickaxe is the best pickaxe besides enchanting and besides mods. Um, it's got a five attack, obviously, and uh, there we go. We got our first diamond pickaxe. Now, we're going to go ahead and go straight down into our mine, if you guys don't remember. Just down this latch right here because I believe there is some obsidian. If there's not, we can make some. We do have some water. Ah, there we go. Now, the lava, I believe, was over here. Yep, see, there's some obsidian there and obsidian there. Now, I believe we need four pieces of obsidian so let's go ahead and grab that now the mine time on obsidian is fairly long it's not too bad though with the diamond pickaxe with other pickaxes it obviously takes a little bit more time um, as you can see not too bad but i mean see it cuts through everything else so uh, that should put it in perspective on how tough really obsidian is There we go. Now we have our four pieces of obsidian. Very, very cool. Now let's get back up to the surface and uh, create our crafting, or, or not crafting table, our enchantment table. Jeez. Okay. Now we're back up in the house. Let's go ahead and cr let's go ahead and either craft or um, get the materials needed. Now we do need two pieces of diamond. Boom, boom. We also need what? We need. Um, where do we where do we keep our books? I think we need a book, so let's go ahead and take a piece of leather. We'll go down to the shore and we'll go ahead and uh, grab some sugar cane and make some more paper, as we did for all the bookcases for our enchantment area. No problem. Three. Nice, nice. Okay. Um, one more. So that'll make two pieces of paper. Two pieces of paper. We don't want to overdo it. We don't want to carry a ton of extra sugar cane around right now. We don't really need it. So there we go. Oh, I was wrong. Anyway. Okay, cool. Really intelligent. Nice. Okay. So, oh wait, we can just do it down here. Okay, so here is our crafting recipe for our enchantment table. It's one book up here, and then this design here, and boom, 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 there's our enchantment table. Did I say crafting table again? I think I said crafting table again. I apologize. Uh, I meant to say enchantment table, so there is our enchantment table, and we get an achievement. Let's go ahead and check out that achievement right away. Uh, zoom out here. We have, boom, enchanter. Use a book, obsidian, and diamonds to construct an enchantment table. Taken, awesome. We have the librarian achievement, correct? Uh, we have all, do we have all these achievements? No. Oh, we don't have the librarian. Build some bookshelves to improve your enchantment table. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna build one. Uh, we need to kill some cows, but we're, I don't wanna take out the base blocks, I'm a goofball. Uh, we're gonna, we're just gonna build one more uh, bookshelf just I guess for sheer saying we did it. Oh, actually, you know what? I got a better idea. All we'll do is we'll just go. We're going to go cut down one of our bookcases so we get the three books back. And then we're just going to use some more wood. Because <laughs> I think that'll be the easiest way. And then we don't have an extra bookcase for no reason. Um, our tools chest. And then we can just take this iron axe. It's probably going to break on this block, but that's okay. Boom. There's our three books. Nice, it's like we know what we're doing. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take the jungle wood and we'll just line it up like before. Remember, if you don't remember the crafting recipe for bookshelves, this is it. Boom, oh, come on, boom, there we go. Okay, so, and boom, librarian. Okay, let's look at that achievement, let's read it. No, achievements! Thank you. Okay, uh, librarian, build some bookshelves to improve your enchantment table. Awesome, we got that one now. Uh, now we need, wait. Throw diamonds at another player. I don't know how we're going to get that one. Maybe we'll play on land with somebody. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Um, do I have this one? Yeah, I got that one. Got that one. Oh. I got that one, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Wow. We are making serious progress now, you guys. Okay. Uh, bookshelf down. Boom. Okay, and let's place the enchantment table. Oh. And then you'll see all these little spectacles coming in or all these little particles coming in from the bookshelf. That means that we are getting the maximum amount of enchantment. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make us a, yeah, we need a chest for down here. Um, I what I like to do is I, I like to have a single chest. And then what we do with that chest is we fill it with not, wait, which side should it be on? What will look the best? I guess the right side because we're not really coming in on the right side. Um, okay, so, no, I, I want to push back actually. Okay, so so the idea behind the chest, sorry about that, is um 
if we you can enchant single books as well which i don't suggest doing if you have 30 levels but you can enchant single books and if we if we want to just get rid of our levels if we know we're going to die soon or something like we're doing something really risky we can just throw our enchantment and make a book and then set it to the side if we ever need it we can put it in that chest as well as we can put our lapis lazul in there we can store it down there just so we don't have to keep running back up and grabbing lapis in order to enchant everything we need to enchant now let's go ahead and put a few pieces of lapis in there i'm not sure how many really it takes but i don't think it'll take it all even if we do that oh it drops it okay so before we do that i guess we are going to make our diamond sword let's go ahead and do that because remember it is an achievement to be able to do a ton of damage with one um I believe it's nine, right? We just read that. One more time, we're going to the achievement menu. Uh, maybe twice if we get this. Deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. Gotcha. So let's go ahead and uh, let's line this bad boy up. There we go. We got our first diamond sword. Same crafting recipe. Strongest weapon in the game. Blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all when I was talking about the diamond pickaxe. Now, it's, we do have 34 levels, so we are going to put 30 levels into it. Um, it's going to cost three pieces of... A lapis um but i don't know which one we should go with you know what we need a number we should pick a number what's a lucky number for us have, do we have a lucky number yet hmm because like then you pull it out you put it back in you pull it out put it back in yeah <laughs> oh my god cut that out of context no way <laughs> Okay, anyway, back to it. Okay, so we, we're going to need to pick a number. What's a good number for us? I'm, we're going to look out. Um, I don't want two chickens because I don't like chickens. So it's not a good number. How many windows do we have in our house? One, two, three, four. I think there's four up here as well. Come on. Can't use a ladder. Four in here, yeah. Okay, so we have eight windows in our house. So we're going to use eight as our number. Um, I know I know it's kind of superstitious, but sometimes you know that's how you get lucky. So let's go ahead and put these in here and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. right? Looting two dot 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 question mark. No, I don't want looting two on it. Wait, what does this do? So we don't know what it will do. It just says looting too, question mark. Oh, what if... Oh, they might have changed the enchantment so that you can see what it is later. Sorry, I, I did eight and then I did like three more, so we're at like 11, but that's okay. Sharpness three and looting two, that is amazing. 10.75 attack damage. Ooh, we're going to get that achievement. Okay, so sharpness three is absolutely spectacular. Um, if you don't know, it takes one, uh, two sharpness one books in order to make a sharpness two. It takes two sharpness two books in order to make sharpness three. So this is a great enchantment to get right off the bat. And looting two is just absolutely spectacular because we're going to get better drops like from uh, skeletons. So we, could, we don't have to worry about collecting arrows and things like that and killing, uh, killing animals and things of that nature. So that is absolutely awesome that we got that. We're going to swap these guys out so that I can use that later. Um, let's go ahead and get some... No, actually, let's go fight some stuff. Let's go kill some stuff. Our armor's doing all right. Um, we're going to go over there, I think. Let's take a walk over there, and we will go ahead and, and, and kill a few guys just to see exactly how the damage goes on this baby. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think this will be a good time. Okay, we have our first contender. He's a skeleton. Are we ready? We're going to wreck him. We're going to jump. We're going to jump, and we're going to attack him. Huh! Oh, come on. I missed. I'm, no, I'm redoing it. I'm redoing it. Stop. I'm redoing it. Come on. Are you serious? The soul... Ugh, my range is like... Got him. Oh, we didn't do nine damage to him? Wait. I want to read that achievement again. Nine hearts of damage. Nine hearts is 18 attack. We have ten... Ten and a half. Nah, 10.75. Dang it. So we're gonna put we're gonna need to put some more sharpness on here or something. Maybe another sharpness three book if we can get one. Wait, why didn't that use like any levels on me? Whoa! The enchantment thing completely changed on me, I think. I don't think that's bugged. No, I think maybe it's possible that it only uses three levels. Is that possible? Hold on. Let me look into this. I'm supposed to know about this. 
Okay, so I did some research, and it actually turns out we only need three levels to get great enchantments on things now. I had no idea that's how it was. Okay, uh, sorry about that. So basically, the idea is now it only takes... I mean, if you put the right amount of lapis in, it doesn't take much at all. Let's go ahead and do our pickaxe then. Why not, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Unbreaking three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, efficiency four and breaking three. That means it goes faster, and it, and it doesn't break. By the way, uh, I shouldn't mention... Um, that there are maximums for all the enchantments, like the sword can go up to sharpness 5, and uh, looting can go up to 3, efficiency can go up to 5, uh, and unbreaking can go up to 3. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to I'm just gonna let you guys know those. So we have the highest unbreaking, which is amazing. Um, but I'm just going to let you guys know those ones right now, and then as we come across them, we will, uh, we will definitely do some more. But why don't, we, why don't we make a whole new set of armor, because... Guess what? We have a ton of armor, um, or a ton of iron that we can just put. But give me a second, we'll go to sleep, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. Here is the plan, you guys. Um, I kind of want to retire the current armor that we have, and the best way, I believe, to do to do that, I think we're going to be okay. I, don't, I think he's on our roof. Uh, the best way to do that is grab some wood. We also need a stone slab. Do we have... Oh, wait, where's our stone chest? Stone chest. Oh, we do have one. Okay, cool. We'll just grab one of those guys and then watch. I'll, I'll show you something pretty cool. Now, I usually just completely retire armor uh, when I'm no longer going to use it. But I kind of I kind of have a better plan for this armor. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, put this, this guy. So this is called an armor stand. Armor stand acts as an entity so it can be pushed like a cow or a, or a chicken. Uh, we're going to throw this guy down right here. Uh, you, can, you can obviously place it on different angles. Uh, if you shift... No, yeah, if you shift left click, it breaks it. Uh, so you can you can have different ones. Um, yeah, but we're going to put it in the corner like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this armor set on here. And what we'll do is if we ever die, obviously, out out in the wild with, with our a, a good set of armor on, we can just go ahead and grab this set of armor and we will... Um, We'll be able to go right back out there and uh, take it. And plus, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, can we give him a weapon, too? No, nah, I don't think we can give him a weapon. Okay, I was just wondering, uh, because we have, obviously, this. Uh, let's go ahead and drop our tools that we really are not going to use much anymore, because we have these awesome tools now. Um, and we are going to create our... Actually, let's just use iron that we already have, because, like I said, we don't want we don't want a ton of new levels. So we'll just use some iron that we already have. I'll go ahead and make ourselves our armor, and then uh, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so now I have our complete set of armor. I'm holding it in my inventory, obviously, because I'm not going to put it on. If we're just going to enchant it right away, let's go ahead and grab some lapis for us. I think we're going to need, uh, what, 12 pieces total? Because 12 times 4. I mean, 3 times 4 is 12. Um... There we go. And let's go ahead and drop these in here. Oh, actually, you know, we'll only put three at a time just in case it accidentally eats more than we want it to. Let's go ahead and, and do our, our helmet. Whoa. Oh, we need 30 levels. So we, okay. So here's the deal. You have to have a minimum of 30 levels, but it will only take three levels. Gotcha. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to go take out all that iron. We're going to get ourselves back up above 30 levels, and we're going we're gonna to enchant a little bit more, but just above 30 levels. Like, I just want to be barely above, so let's take the smaller stuff out first. Okay, that didn't do much. That still didn't do much. Come on, give me something. Oh, okay, so we are going to have to take it all out. We didn't even get 30 levels. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is actually a perfect time for me to show a different method. Um, what you can do is, well, let's go ahead and drop all of this iron into... Our chest holy crap we have a ton now awesome but there is uh, actually a different method to enchanting uh, and I believe it still works with this new update if it doesn't I apologize but what you can do is you can actually cover just one bookshelf and then it won't transmit its things over here and it should give us uh, like a lower level see like now it's 28 so now we can do that but let's do it with the chest plate because the chest plate is the most important piece uh, no, I don't want projectile protection. Do I have to have projectile protection? I'm going to do it a few more times and see if we can't get something better. Please no. Please, please no. Please no. Please stop. Okay, so it doesn't look like it. Okay, projectile protection uh, 4 and unbreaking 3. So that's good. Unbreaking 3 is really good. Uh, let's go ahead and then we'll... I think we got to cover up one more here. And we'll, or that covers up 2 actually because that takes up the different blocks. But that's okay. And we'll do the pants because that's the second most important... Um, actually, can we get, can we get a higher level than that? Uh, let's go ahead and cover this guy up and see if that works. So one, two, three, and then 
Let's go and put our pants in there. Let's see, we can. Okay, cool. We got another projectile projection and an unbreaking. That's not bad. Um, projectile protection is just going to protect us from uh, skeletons. So I guess we're safe from skeletons for a while. But I don't really know how, how effective that's going to really be. Let's go ahead and cover up another one and put more, three more in. And we will do our helmet because our helmet's the, set, uh, the third most important. Uh, protection. Sweet. We got actual protection. Just protection three on there, I guess. Uh, not terrible. And then we'll cover up one more. And we will get our boots. Boots. Uh, fire protection. That's pretty cool. And feather falling three. That's very good. Feather falling obviously lets you fall from a, taller, a higher up distance with, with taking less damage. Uh, it's, it's very good. And fire protection is nice because... Um, then we don't take nearly as much damage from fire. Neither does the armor. Uh, so yeah, we have we're we're decked out. We have awesome enchanted armor, and we're gonna have to go on some quests here pretty soon. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. We have our nice retired thing of armor. We got through a ton of stuff. We learned, we got enchanting. We built our enchanting table. We built a diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword. We got our enchanted armor. We learned about enchanting. We did a ton of stuff today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and you guys have a great day.